Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.5b in the great state of Texas. We're using number 12 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a, looks like a fairly simple problem, but it might be a little bit more difficult than we think. We've got Stacy, she's using 21 feet of ribbon, and she used three feet for each bow. Which equation can be used to find the number of bows that Stacy made with this ribbon? So we need to find the number of bows. And so you notice all of our answer selections, F, G, H, and J, they're all gonna use 21 and 3, the only two numbers we have in the problem, and they're simply going to use a different operation, multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. So we're not going to be able to find our answer there. What we are going to need to do is probably draw a picture, maybe a strip diagram. So let's see if we can draw a little bit of both. And so I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with this 21 feet. Because it says she used 21 feet of ribbon to make bows. And to me, this looks like my total. And so whenever we get our total, whether it be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we're going to put it up on top in a big box there. And then she used three feet of ribbon for each bow. And we need to know how many bows we can make. So it looks like what we're going to do is we're going to take sets of three. And then... We're just going to try to figure out, well, how many bows can she make? How many sets of three can she get out of there? So what we could do is we can do this. We can just set up 21 feet. I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we'll do my 21st one down there. I'm not going to cross it off because I want each one to be separate. These are going to represent my 21 feet. And I, it says here that we're going to use three feet for each ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to circle sets of three. So I'm going to do, well, that's one, two, three. I'm going to circle that one. That's going to be kind of weird down there. I've got one right here. Let's see, I can kind of make a set of three right here, and then I can make a set of three right there. So how many sets of three did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I made seven groups of three, and that made 21 feet, and that makes sense. And so if I were to use that as a strip diagram, could I do that. Could I do seven down here? Can I set up three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one? So yes, that works. But take a look right here. Seven times three. So we know that she made seven bows. But seven times three equals 21 is not one of my options. I do have a multiplication, but it looks like 21 times 3, and that's going to give me 63. Well, let's go back to my original strip diagram. This is actually a strip diagram that shows division. Whenever you see this right here, you can see uh, multiplication. You can even see addition if you really want to, because multiplication is repeated addition. This strip diagram right up here is actually division because you've got 21 and you've got sets of three and this question mark means you don't know how many sets you have. And keyword for that is going to be each. So what we could do here is we can say, well, we've got 21 divided into sets of three. And now that we know we are going to make seven sets of three, that's going to give us our answer here as G. We're not going to multiply because we're not going to make 63. Then addition and subtraction don't work because this each lets us know it's going to be multiplication or division.